you're a place where you can come to regain that sense of hope. Hi, my name is Robin Conyers, and I am the Lasting Hope Recovery Center Administrator. Mental illness, it doesn't have any demographics around it. It doesn't have any social standards. Mental illness affects everybody. It's an environment where we want our patients to be comfortable in. Our whole area is set up around psychiatric needs of the patients and those assessments which are much more specific. The Psychiatric Assessment Center really is our front door for us. So patients that come in needing help, and patients can come to us from any walks of life. They can walk in from the streets, they can come from a family's home, they can come from a doctor's office, a therapist's office, from another hospital. Um, police can bring patients in uh, if they need support or they need an assessment. And our job in the assessment center is really to just that, ask patients why they're here, what brought you to this point. We are a 64 bed adult psychiatric facility. All of our rooms are private, so we care for those patients that have nobody to turn to that can understand what it feels like to not get out of bed in the morning and why can't I quit drinking? Why, why does it hurt to have to get up in the morning and I don't want to go to work? I can't get myself out of, out of bed. We have access to the courtyards, so the ability to go outdoors and have, um, have access to the fresh air and that sort. Really wanted this place to be a place of healing. I think we all know that we heal better at home. We all know that uh, the fresh light, um, nature sounds, just an environment that's home-like creates healing. And we did not want our facility to be the, the stereotypical white walls, bars on the walls, plastic furniture, you know, just sterile environment. We have a chapel area, which is an area for patients to go and just do some meditation or an opportunity to pray uh, with our chaplain that we have available here. We have internal courtyards that just get you out of that traditional you know, room if you need to get out. All our patients engage with one another. So there's very little time spent in um, their rooms because we want our patients to come out and talk. The easiest thing for them to be would be to isolate. Shut the door, pull the covers over their head, turn the lights out. We don't want them to do that while they're here. For our patients to come in and have to ask for help and to tell their story, that can be very traumatic. To hear about the abuse they've suffered, to hear about the struggles they've been with, to hear that nobody understands them and to walk in and know that I can tell you that and to know that your job and your calling is to help me find a way out of this darkness, that's what we do. We listen, we, we provide skills to offer these patients what they can do when they leave here. Our staff, we care for patients at the core. There's nothing more vulnerable to care for a person's body, mind and spirit, to know that our patients that come here, their spirits are broken and to have that and hold that in your hands and to be able to hear them as they, at their most lowest point in their life and to know that we're going to care for them and we're going to look out for their best interests and to know we want them to get better. And we've seen recovery happen. Our job is to give them that hope back that perhaps they've lost or that they just can't find readily available. And we do that each and every day. For more information on Lasting Hope Recovery Center, log on to AllegianCrayton.com forward slash Lasting Hope. If you or someone you love is in crisis, call 911 or our Lasting Hope Crisis Line at 402-717-HOPE.